In this video, we are going to see MTS and ATS working for LV panel. Let us consider the LV panel as incomer A, incomer B and bus coupler. Generally, on bus coupler as the tripping selector switch and auto manual switch. Additionally, with open close and remote switch. On incomer panel as their individual opening closing switch and local remote switch. The source end and load end should be checked if necessary. It should be isolated before doing ATS and MTS operation. Why we go on MTS because of one of the reason is without interruption of power supply we can change the power from one system to other system. This is the MTS closing logic. In this main logic, if the local remote switch is in local, the MTS operation should be done on panel side. For DCS, PMS and SCADA, MTS, the switch should be in remote and the operation will be done by remote end. This is the MTS stripping logic. Once all CB got close status, depend on selector switch, the breaker will trip. Next, if you see the MTS trip logic, try to trip the trip selector CB. If it is failed to trip because may be due to trip circuit supply fail or trip circuit fail then it will trip the breaker which is closed just before this logic is known as loss breaker trip logic we can see briefly case 1 i have selected the trip selector switch on bus coupler initially the bus coupler and incomer a is in close position when i close incomer a the breaker will close and it will be in momentum parallel then it will check the trip selector switch since the selector is on bus coupler it will trip the bus coupler breaker case 2 i have selected the trip selector switch in incomer b initially the incomer a and incomer b in close position when i close bus coupler the breaker will close and it will be in momentum parallel then it will check the trip selector switch since the trip selector switch is in on incomer b it will trip incomer b breaker case 3 i have selected the trip selector switch on bus coupler initially the bus coupler and incomer a in close position when i close incomer b the breaker will close and it will be in momentum parallel then it will check the trip selector switch since the selector is on bus coupler it will trip the bus coupler breaker case 4 i have selected the trip selector switch in incomer a initially the incomer a and incomer b in close position when i close bus coupler the breaker will close and it will be in momentum parallel then it will check the trip selector switch since the selector is on incomer a it will trip the incomer a breaker case 5 i have selected the trip selector switch on bus coupler initially the bus coupler and incomer b in close position when i close the incomer a the breaker will close and it will be in parallel then it will check the trip selector switch since the selector is on bus coupler it will give the tripping command to bus coupler breaker if the bus coupler breaker fail to trips then the incomer a breaker will trips this logic is known as lost breaker trip logic Next we are going to see ATS operation.
What is ATS? It's a automatic switch device that transfer load power to healthy power system from power failure system. This is the ATS of basic opening logic. This is used for ATS basic closing logic. In this ATS, we have one more logic is standstill logic. We can see briefly. Case 1. I am going to stimulate the under voltage on incomer A. When incomer A get under voltage, if the switch is in auto, the incomer A breaker will trip and bus coupler will close automatically and transfer power from incomer A. In case 2, I am going to stimulate the under voltage on incomer B. When incomer B get under voltage, if the switch is in auto, the incomer B breaker trips and the bus coupler will close automatically and transfer power from incomer A. Case 3. I am going to stimulate the under voltage on both incomer A and B. In this condition, both incomer will not trip and it will be remain close. No action will take place. Both incomer A and B breaker will be remain in close position. This all I am going to show to you all in stimulating condition.
am going to stimulate on B. I am going to initiate B. And now the supply flows. And for B, they can get open. Now I normalize voltage. I open the first supply. I close the power B. Now I am going to stimulate both under voltage. In that condition, both breakers should not trip. I am simulating both under voltage simultaneously. Our both gear breaker is getting, it is not tripping, but it is affecting the under voltage. Now, I am going, I am going to supply on income B, so income A will trip. So auto change over, it is taking after taking any one supply. Note, if transformer protection operate, it should not affect the ATS. The ATS block should be happen in such a case if the overcurrent fault on incomer due to outgoing feeder or corresponding bus. If you think it's useful for your friends, you can share this video to them. Thank you for watching this video.